Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now today what I want to do is show you some amazing Samsung Galaxy quality of life features that everybody should enable that's going to make using your phone much better. Now the very first thing that you should do is improve the call quality and to do this next time somebody gives you a call and you answer it or you call somebody else swipe down from the top and you'll see an option for mic mode and if you tap on it it's going to by default be set to standard but go ahead and select voice focus and tap done. What this is going to do is anytime you're on a phone call your phone will identify any background noises going on around you so maybe there's some construction going on or you're by a busy highway and it will suppress all of those background sounds and focus only on your voice so that the person who is talking to you on the phone will have a much easier time hearing your voice and not all the other background noise going on around you. Now this next setting is going to fix a problem that has happened to all of us. If you've ever been reading a long article or maybe you're just really focused on something on your phone and then somebody calls you, the call pop-up window will take over your whole entire screen and completely distract you from what you were doing. But there's a cool setting that you can change to make it a lot less distracting. So all you need to do is open up your phone app, tap on the three dots here, go to settings. And right here at the bottom, you'll see it says call display while using apps. And by default, it's set to full screen. But what you can do is set it to small pop-up or mini pop-up and this is what I like to set it to and now anytime anybody calls you instead of the call window taking over your whole entire screen you'll get this little pop-up in the top of your phone and it won't be anywhere near as distracting and also make sure you enable this feature that says keep calls in pop-up so that when you actually answer the phone it will stay in that little mini pop-up and you can continue interacting with your phone and doing whatever it is that you were doing while on the phone call at the same time. Now, one thing that I absolutely hate is getting notifications about things that I don't care about. They're constantly distracting me or making me excited because I think I got a cool notification, but then it ends up being something completely useless. Well, there's an amazing Galaxy setting that can help you manage all of these notifications that you don't care about and only get notified about things that you do care about. And to enable this, what you want to do is go into your phone settings, swipe down to notifications, tap advanced settings, and right there at the bottom, you'll see manage notification categories for each app. Make sure you enable this and now what you're going to be able to do is set notification categories for things that you care about and you can do this with any app. So let's use Instagram for example. If you long press on it and then hit this little eye icon up here, go to notifications, you'll see a new option here that says notification categories and in here you can see we have a tick box for every single notification category and you can go through here and disable all the things you don't care about and only leave enabled the notifications that you care about like direct messages requests or video calls and now you're only going to get notifications from instagram about the things that you actually care about and nothing else and you can do this for every single app on your phone whether it's tiktok reddit youtube gmail messages Whatever it is, you can manage the notification categories for those apps. And this is going to make your phone much less annoying. Now, if you've ever been reading a long article or maybe looking at a photo on your phone without interacting with your phone, one thing that you might notice that's a little bit annoying is your phone will dim and auto lock on you because you're not interacting with it and it's trying to save some battery life. So you can see my phone just locked itself. But if I was reading a long article or again, looking at a photo, I would have to keep tapping on my phone every single time it dimmed to keep it awake. But there's a really useful feature that you can change to help you preserve that battery life while still keeping your display on when you're looking at it. So what you wanna do is go into your phone settings, swipe down to display and scroll down to screen timeout right there. And down at the bottom, you'll see an option that says keep screen on while viewing. And this is disabled by default, but when you enable it, what's going to happen is your phone will now use the front facing selfie camera to see that you're actually looking at the phone and you are interacting with it and your phone will no longer dim and lock on you. And this is really useful if you want to keep your screen timeout nice and low so that you're not wasting battery when you're not using your phone but allow the phone to stay unlocked and not lock on you when you're actually looking at it. So this is definitely a really useful feature that you should enable if your phone keeps locking on you when you're using it. The next thing you should do is take advantage of these widgets that we have on our lock screen. And this can be very useful to take quick actions directly from your phone without having to unlock it. So we all know we can double tap on our phone to go into our camera mode, but maybe we want to start a specific camera mode like video or portrait or maybe anything from here like pro video. 
Well, you can quickly do that directly from those widgets on the lock screen. So if we go back to our lock screen, to edit our widgets or add any, just tap on our lock screen. And then if it asks for a password, go ahead and authenticate. But now we can tap in this widget section and we can add this little camera widget. It will be under the cameras right there. It's called custom camera. And when you add it into here, you can tap on it, go to starting mode. And now you can see we can select whether we want the rear or front facing camera to start. And we can select any of these camera modes. So we can go into pro, pro video, night photography, hyperlapse, dual recording, whatever we want we can launch it directly from there. So let's say we want to start a slow motion video without having to unlock our phone, go into video mode and then select 4K 60 or 4K 120. That's a lot of steps and it can take a long time to launch the camera. But if we select it from here and then go back, hit save and then tap done on our lock screen to change our settings. Now, anytime we go to our lock screen, we can simply tap onto here and it will jump directly into our camera into the slow motion options and we can start recording a slow motion video right away. And this is again a very useful just to give you quick access to things directly from your lock screen. You can see I also have this mic recording widget right here and if I tap on it, it will start a recording directly from my lock screen. I don't even need to unlock my phone and I can manage it from the uh, now bar down here so I can pause it and then restart it. And if I'm done with the recording, I can just tap right here and you can see it will save it directly to my phone. I absolutely love these widgets. It's definitely a great quality of life improvement just to be able to do some of these quick actions directly from your lock screen without ever even having to unlock your phone, go searching for these things and starting the application manually. You can just do everything right from your lock screen. So definitely go ahead and set these up. And the next setting also has to do with the lock screen and it is to customize these quick shortcuts down here at the bottom. So by default, you have your phone app and then you also have the camera here. But like I just showed you, you can launch the camera directly from the lock screen by just double tapping the power button. So this is a little bit redundant and we can change it to something more useful. For example, I have the flashlight and I can just swipe it and you can see it will start my flashlight. And this is really useful for me personally because I like to walk around late at night snacking on food and I don't want to have to crash into any furniture so I can quickly turn on the flashlight directly from my lock screen. And again, to edit it, just go ahead and long press on your lock screen. I'll go ahead and authenticate if it asks you. And then when you're here, just tap on any of these shortcuts that you want to change. And you can see we have a few different options here. We can put our phone into flight mode. We can bring up the QR scanner. We can put it into dark mode, power saving. We can set it to do not disturb, or we can even launch any application that we have installed on our phone. So you can go ahead and select whatever you want and then add it to that shortcut to your lock screen. And when you're done, again, just hit done and it will save that shortcut for you. And I can quickly access whatever action or application you want directly from these shortcuts. Now, the next thing we're going to do is make some improvements to the biometrics of our phone. So if you often use finger unlock or face unlock to get into your phone, which I'm sure a lot of you do, but sometimes you find that it doesn't work as well. And sometimes it has errors on locking. There's a few things that you can change to make them a little bit more reliable. And all you need to do is go into your phone settings, scroll down to security and privacy, go to screen lock and biometrics. And down here you'll see face recognition and fingerprints. So let's do face recognition first. If you tap into here, you'll see an option for brighten screen. And when you enable this, it'll say increase screen brightness temporarily so that your face can be recognized in the dark. But do be careful with this. If you ever look at your phone in the middle of the night, you just wake up to glimpse over your phone and you pick it up. This will <laughs> brighten up really bright and absolutely blind you at night. So definitely take this with a word of caution. And next, if we go back and we go to fingerprints this time, you can see that we have a few fingerprint profiles here and you can add up to four or five fingerprint profiles. And what you can do is add your main fingerprint twice. So if you use your right thumb to unlock your phone, you can set two profiles with just your right thumb and your phone will have a lot more data to work with when unlocking the phone using your thumb. So it will have a lot less errors and be a lot more reliable. So definitely go ahead and set up two fingerprint profiles for your main finger. All right, guys, now the last quality of life improvement that I suggest everybody enable, and this is one that I absolutely love. And what it will do is anytime somebody calls you on your phone, your phone will announce the name of the caller, but also give you the ability to answer or reject the phone using your voice. So if you're washing dishes or you're gardening and you just can't get to your phone or you don't want to pick it up because your hands are dirty or busy, your phone will announce the name of the person calling you and you will know whether that's an important phone call or maybe it can wait and even give you the ability to answer or reject the call using Using your voice so you don't ever have to even touch your phone to interact with it. So to set this up, what you want to do is go into your phone app right there, go to settings, 
go to answering and ending calls and right there it says read caller names aloud just enable this and make sure to set it to always then what you're going to do is go and search for the Bixby app on your phone. Most Galaxy phones should already have this installed. If you do not have this Bixby app, just go to the Galaxy store and install it. But once you have it, long press on it, go to Bixby settings, select talk to Bixby without wake up and enable this feature. And now what we're going to be able to do is say answer phone or reject call to answer or reject the call. And we can, of course, also interact with the alarms and timers. But the main one we're focused on right here is phone. So once you have these two set up, that's it, you're all set. Now, anytime somebody calls you, your phone will say the name of the caller out loud and you will be able to say answer phone or reject call to answer or reject the call. And what's really cool about this is it will actually put your phone into speaker mode if you do answer it. So you don't need to pick up your phone and put it next to your ear. It will be on speaker and you'll be able to hear it from a distance. But there you go, guys. That's going to do it for this video of some of my favorite Galaxy quality of life features that I think everybody should enable. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other settings that you think anybody should know. But that's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed and be sure to subscribe for more.